got the Knicks coming up. No Randall. I mean, I love Jalen Brunson. You know, he's just a dog. But they just don't have enough. Sixers and five. Maybe Ooh. six. I say I mean, maybe shit, six. man. Six I think it's going to be a, I think, I think it's gonna be a great series. I do. I think it's going to be a great series. I was looking forward to this series, the Knicks and the, and the Sixers, just because of the history, uh, just because of the storylines now with Jalen uh, Brunson coming back to Philly with the rest of the Wildcats of Villanova with Josh Hart, Dan Vincenzo. Those boys have been balling, man, up there in New York, man. Salute to them guys taking that team uh, to the playoffs. The question is, um, you know, they got Anna Bio yet, Bio back. That's going to be helpful for them. And how healthy is is uh is Embiid gonna be? Man, he looked terrible today. He like still got knee. 23 though. He right. got he got he got that an ugly like, 23. That was a tough 23, 23 and 15. But the key was the assist. He had six assists, which was huge, mm -hmm. right? And he trusts you, you like I think he said it. Him and Maxi can't do it all. They've all been saying it. The role players have to step up. Thank right? God we had Batum out there, boy. I mean, that that catch and shoot. I'm trying to think who was like that. That who was quick, like I don't think I've seen nobody that. Catches and shoot it like that, that. Was, that was his his release is stupid. Yeah, like he catches it, he catches it high and shoots it right quick, yeah, real quick, real quick, real quick, right right off the gate. And that thing either goes in and is wet or is not. <laughs> I like it in um, six. I like sixes and six. Going back to your question, man, six or six. I think it's gonna be a tough battle, and hopefully MB can kind of get some rest, and and I'm, hopefully the injury is not. Killing him as much as it looked like tonight. I don't. He, he he's he, gonna kill. Who's guarding Embiid on the damn Knicks? They can't guard him, bro. No, they can't guard him. But hey, that they're zone looked real efficient today when they when the Miami. Yeah, played. but that's Miami running the that. That's true. Uh, that's true. You know that zone. And then they're and they're, and I think they said on the on the cast. I think Reddick said on the cast they're the number one team who runs the zone, so they run it very very efficiently. I'm true. gonna tell you what, boy. I knew he was nice, but uh. <laughs> oh boy, uh Jacquez. Oh, Jay, yo, yeah. he he had he almost put Maxi on skates, dog. Yeah, he had him a couple times. <laughs> he yeah. had him a couple times. Mm -hmm. I was like, ooh. Definitely, definitely a tough game. I didn't Today know was his handles was like that. Yeah, he's nice. UCLA kid. Yeah. Um, you know, didn't look doesn't look like he got a lot of hops, but he can he can explode to the rim. He can hoop. Yeah, yeah he, can no, he, he, he can hoop. I, I I like him, but going down the list here. I mean, Tobias is Tobias, 9, 10, and 4. Uber came up big, late, big free throws, and B found him down low. It was there all day with that backdoor cut with him sneaking, sneaking in the zone, finally got one to go, big and one finishes. We just talked about him, B. They did a great job on Maxi, right? Yeah, he was lost. Um, and and Maxi was just kind of a little off. I thought he was going to hoop, so I had a nice prop on him. Um, he was, he has scored, he had played Miami heat four times and he scored 30 and three of them mm -hmm. and except for one. So I thought he was going to go off today. Larry had a, a, a decent game. Just some of the veterans really stepped up. Yeah, Batum, really did. Larry, Ubre. I mean, I wish I could add Harris into that mix, but he's just in no man's land. You see that brick of a three he threw when they went on that run all and night they, long. Yep. I don't, know how he hit the, I don't know how he shot the ball like that. Missed layups. He had a three. He had a layup to go three times. He missed three times in a row. It's just yeah. They try and they tried to tough, get him man. to mismatch. Yeah, that's the crazy just, thing. Two man ball don't. tried to get him to mismatch, and it just like yo, he's he, he should be coming off the bench. To be honest, can't come off he'd the bench. Be, he'd be money. better poised to come off the bench. Be a spot All that money, and he, go can, he can't come off the bench. You're making too much money come off the bench. <laughs> that man made what was it? What was the uh in there a quarter billion? Yeah, no, but what was the um John where uh shit? What was it? They said that he is the only he's made the most money ever in the NBA history, and he's never been an all-star. All-star, never been an all-star, never been an all-star, but it's made the most money. What does that say about this guy, man? Like it says he can't create his own shot. That's the problem. He can't create his own shot. He's not he's an he's a silent assassin. Who is he killing if he's a silent assassin? He don't kill nobody. You got to be able to kill somebody to be an assassin, bro. He's just silent. 
He's a silent player that might be a quiet, a quiet 17 and 19, but there aren't impactful impactful points. They're just not impactful. I think yeah. that's what it is. Sometimes he'll not saying is every game, but when it when it really counts, it just, he just disappears. Like today, nine points today, right? Seven, nine points, yeah. something like that. Not yeah. Shooting what what four for twelve or something crazy, just mm-hmm. not impactful. And the shots that you need him to make, he misses. And that's right. what I mean by not impactful. So yeah. I mean, like I said, the key is they avoided Boston, so they get the matchup. You gotta like them against the Bucks if they if they get past the Knicks, which I think they should get yeah. past the Knicks. You gotta like them against the Bucks, and the only reason why I like them against the Bucks because I'm Fate and Doc, right? I'm, I'm I'm on the other side. Like I was I was I was supportive of Doc because I didn't think Doc was the reason we lost mm-hmm. that uh, that series where we could have won. I thought he had all the pieces. Get everything he needed, and they just choked. I don't blame that on Doc. I blame that on the players because they had it when they had Boston here in Philly game six. Yeah. But his history of Doc Rivers is that he's terrible in the playoffs. He can't get teams over the hump. And we've seen that time and time again or in the regular season with what he's done with the Milwaukee Bucks. It was a terrible mistake. To get rid of Griffin and bring in Doc, terrible. I agree. I agree. It was a historical mistake, and it might put that franchise back, and it might give the Philadelphia 76ers a path since oh one. Hey, talking about being a betting podcast, the, the line is real short for this series. I think it's like minus one twenty or minus one thirty or something for, like that for for Milwaukee to win the series against Indiana. So listen. I hope Indiana well, kind of fights. And, and, and I don't want to see Indiana though. I, I want to see Halliburton. And I'd rather I'd rather see Halliburton than than a, than a team like Dame Lillard that might get hot in the series. Or oh or, yeah, I forgot or, they had Dame. Yeah, I'm not really. Yeah, and I think I think the injury because I think the injury to um, Giannis to Giannis is much much deeper. I think he injured that. Uh, yeah, he's not. Yeah, it's, he's it's not supposed going to probably the Achilles. So we got to be. We got to kind of really. That's why. That's why I want to see Milwaukee. Yeah, but so what's what's? Hold on, let's uh, let's let's do that real quick. What's the uh, what's the line? You got it up. I the series I line. I can check. I can check for the series. Yeah, let me let me bring it up. And thanks to everybody who's on on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube. Make sure you guys uh, hit that dinner, subscribe, man. follow, yeah, like all that good stuff. Hey, drop some comments, man. What y'all think about the Sixers today? You know, what y'all Stress think about the Sixers today? I got it, bro. Let me, let me bring it up real quick. Let me bring it up real quick. I got you, homie. You know what I mean? I'm always ready for you. All right. So let's look, let's look at the, the betting lines for the series. The series, real quick. All right. Damn. Shy Town putting it on. Atlanta. All right, so this is this is close, all right? That's even. I think it's gonna be a good. I think it's gonna be a good six game series, Philadelphia. That's even money. New York it is crazy in New York. Look at that. Look at it. Look even money for the series. Yeah. So we will even odds. Even odds. I'm sorry. Even odds. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. I wonder what that regular season series was. They probably played them tough. They got the they got the bodies to stay in front of Giannis, mm-hmm. but Giannis ain't gonna be Giannis though. No, not with that injury. Not with that injury. I wonder what the uh, what the spread is. You gotta like if it's what plus one. Well, game one, think? I think Indiana's a favorite. So here we go. We got plus one and a half. This is this is Philly Knicks. Yeah, I, I know. I'm just looking. Okay. Four two, like we said, plus one twenty five. There's value right there on the Sixers. A little bit of value on the on the better team to win plus money. You might want to jump on that. But that means that now remember that means that the Sixers got to win at least uh, four two. Oh yeah, it's still seven game series, right? They don't do five no more. Yeah, seven games. Yeah, seven games. So All six right. games that would have to be yeah four two a four two series. Shit, with no Giannis, 
These boys might get them out of there four and one, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I like I, I like that plus money on Indiana minus one and a half. Yeah, the one and a half looks good for sure. Plus one thirty five. Can you? Can you? Hold on, on. Let's hold on. Let's see. Can you parlay this thing thing? Plus one and a half. Yeah, hey, you can play. You could. You could. I mean, I did sixes plus one and a half because I know it's minus yeah. one thirty. Two to one. That ain't bad. Let's see what the other way is. Hmm. Yeah, but what else you got left? What else you got left? Is there other teams that's in there? Because I would probably go Knicks plus two and a half and then just kind of make it safe for everybody. We obviously think it's going to go. Knicks are going to get a couple wins. Yeah, I think uh, – I mean, honestly, I would think I would do it like this. So I would actually go – There, that's the Shit. spread. Do this. Do this really quickly. Let's go down real quick. Let's go, let's go plus two and a half for Indiana, plus two and a half for – um, oh, there we go. New York That's Knicks. Right. That's what I like right there. That three, that three to one right there, B. Yeah. A two, a two game series. Yeah. Knicks. I mean, the Pacers to go minus one and a half. So uh, Pacers go up four two, mm -hmm. and then um, no, that's plus one. Oh no, that is minus, minus one and a half. Yeah. Okay. And then the six, and then the Sixers minus uh, one twenty. That's a nice. That's a three to one play. Yeah, 